Hey there, CPO here, and I'm going to go through the unboxing of my new Thunder Tiger Raptor E550 Fly Barless. I seriously believe this is the heli to beat when it comes into getting into a 550 size heli at a very, very reasonable price. So I was a little bit bummed out, uh, and I'll show you why here in a minute, but my heli did come uh, with a, uh, a little bit of a problem from shipping. Uh, I'm not going to let that destroy my desire to do an unboxing, so I'm going to point it out and then I'm going to move on because it doesn't really uh, impact the fact of, uh, you know, that most everybody else that's getting one of these is not going to have this problem and Tower Hobbies has made good on it. So let's just uh, check out what's inside this box, how it's packaged, and, uh, and go from there. So as you can tell, I'm literally taking you through an actual unboxing. This is actually the very first time I've ever seen this. I'm pulling it out of the package uh, for the very first time on camera with you. And uh, so I'm excited to, uh, to get this. This is my first 550 size heli. Uh, right now my biggest heli is a 500. And I was wanting to go up into a little bit bigger size without having... Uh, all the complexity that goes with, say, a 600 and bigger size. Interesting to note, though, this is the same frame as the Thunder Tiger, what, 620. So um, it can be easily updated, uh, modified to uh, add, uh, you know, 600 size uh, blades and tail boom. So in the future, uh, that might be a good opportunity. Bump it up to a 12S system, make it a 600. But for now, it's my budget way of getting into a 550 because this almost ready to fly kit is exactly that, almost ready to fly. It needs a receiver and it needs a battery. Uh, and outside of that, it's pretty much ready to go. So now that I've got it out of the box, let me uh, take you through it. So here's another quick look at everything that I just pulled out of that box. And then I'll uh, open up these bags with you so you can see what's in there. But actually, uh, you know, it's a fairly well, almost completely assembled helicopter. The canopy, uh, you know, is a little bit uh, problematic for me. As you can see here, the uh, tabs, the little pegs that hold the canopy on from the mainframe broke off during shipment. So I don't think that that's going to be a common problem, uh, but Thunder Tiger made good on it. I do like this clip that clips to the front frame. That's pretty cool. And, of course, here you can see uh, where the frame is broke. I may epoxy those back on, uh, but either way, I've got a new frame coming. All right, so flip it around. Uh, let's take a look at this motor. It comes with an 1150 kV motor, uh, and it is mounted in the rear of the heli, uh, up top, easy to get to. And then you can see this is a bell crank style system, 140 degree swash. And it's kind of interesting coming from an aligned style helicopter. This is uh, much different. And as you can see here, the motor has the bullets pre-installed, which will mate with the ESC once we get into the build. You can see here uh, the side of the heli and the linkages that are uh, pre-installed but just kind of tied up, uh, ready to go to the servo horns. And uh, here's your uh, servos all up front, which is also very interesting. Uh, again, coming from an Align style, Taro uh, helicopters, I'm used to seeing the tail servo in the back. In this case, it's in the front, uh, which is kind of interesting to me. Here's the battery tray, and you can see uh, you know, a lot of room for a battery there. It's a fairly solid mix between carbon fiber parts and plastic parts. Uh, and I'm assuming that's by design to make things easy to replace in segments. All right, so let's dig into some of these other little bags of goodies. This bag here has the ESC and also the fly barless system. This is a GT 5.2 uh, fly barless system. And, uh, you know, Jury's out on how well it's going to do, but, uh, you know, I've heard some good things about it. Uh, it looks like it's got the 3M tape pre-installed and an extra sheet of 3M, a couple of uh, zip ties, and uh, then the Talon 90 ESC with the uh, built-in bullets. Uh, kind of cool. You can just plug your motor wires directly into the ESC here. This ESC has a 20-amp BEC. Lots of opinions on the internet of whether this is a good or bad ESC, but uh, I'm just going to run with it, see what I think myself. Uh, a couple different options to mounting it on the heli. All right, this bag here has, uh, here's the uh, wires for the fly barless system to connect to the receiver and the manual for that. The plastic tail blades. Uh, this is the, 
blade grip uh, bolts for your main rotor blades, uh, some tail assembly parts, and a linkage rod for the tail. Looks like it comes with three battery straps. What else? Uh, servo horns, exactly what you need and none extra. And then this is the uh, tail boom, has the belt already pre-installed, which is uh, kind of handy. And uh, fully plastic tail assembly here. Here are the carbon fiber rotor blades. Uh, you've got your tracking stickers here and uh, beautiful black carbon fiber Thunder Tiger blades. I love the look of carbon fiber. And last but not least, you've got your blade holder here. This is the canopy. I think it looks more like a shark than anything else. And uh, I know a lot of people are polarized on the looks of this canopy. Uh, I really kind of like it. I'm not a big fan of the gold and red sticker scheme, but uh, I can pull those off pretty easy. As a matter of fact, you can see here, they would come off really easy. I'm just gonna put this back on though until I'm ready to take it off. Uh, but lots of options there. They're aftermarket sticker kits, or uh, you can get them from Tower Hobbies, uh, different colors. But that's it. This is the Raptor E550 Fly Barless model. This is the uh, the latest 550 from Thunder Tiger. And uh, just wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to take a look at it. I will be doing an assembly video when I put this thing together. I hate to call it a build video because you're really just assembling it at this point. Uh, but I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on that. And uh, that'll be it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.